Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions here with a super quick stock market update. So SQQQ, which is the inverse ETF for NASDAQ. So this goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. I was day trading this quick little update. I'm still holding my $20,000 worth of TQQQ. I have no intention of selling those anytime soon. Market's doing just fine. Yeah, it's down a little bit, but again, I'm not concerned about that. I want to talk about my quick little day trade that I took on SQQQ. My entry was not perfect. I actually started the day off in the red. I took a bad trade on SQQQ originally, but my position size was very light. Again, this is why we always talk about position size. You should never be afraid to take advantage of an opportunity. But again, if direction is against you, you hold yourself accountable, you manage that risk, and then you wait for the next setup. Originally, I took my position. It began to sell off, and then it broke below. I think it was like $52 a share. It was all caught in my live trading session with the Learn Plan Profit Group. Remember, they get to watch me trade live every single day. They saw exactly, not just, they don't get to see all of the good, they get to see all of the bad. And that's the beautiful thing about it, right? If you're actually trying to learn how to trade, you need to see both sides, not just profit, but again, understanding the thought process of what leads to success and to failure, right? And how to overcome that. So originally I was down around four to $500 on my original stop loss on SQQQ. I allowed it to sell off. I let it sell off. And then it began to consolidate. It was showing signs of a support. It might not be super clear, right? If you're part of my Learn Plan Prof Group, this is literally a textbook setup. It's called the three stages of a reversal. We cover it in LPP. Rejection, consolidation, and then confirmation. On the five-minute time frame, it's even more clear, right? Rejection, consolidation, and confirmation. The MACD was beautiful. The RSI was beautiful. Again, indicators are to be used as a reference, never as a sole reason on why to take a trade. But again, $42 freaking hundred dollars. Uh, my trade actually was like 4700 but it was because I was down the four to $500 already that I made up the difference, uh, but I still ended it up in the green, right? So the five minute time frame was a beautiful time frame to really slow things down. I waited for that consolidation. I waited for that confirmation. And then I stepped on the gas. Uh, looking at the one minute time frame again, it was very easy to see when the higher highs and higher lows were forming, not just when we broke above the EMA line, but again, it's when we break above, when we pull back and then validate the EMA as a support, right? It sucks when it breaks above, pulls back and then breaks right back below. That's not indication of an uptrend, right? That's kind of what we're testing right now. Are we going to hold above EMA and continue to rally or are we going to break below it and then sell right back off? And then I can go into TQs, right? The great thing about this is that it did validate this as a support. This is considered a higher low. It pushed up, made new highs, and then continued to rally. I added more to it as we broke above the moving average. And this was all kept up to date under our trade ideas. If you're part of our learn plan profit group, I saw that there was a lot of consolidation around the same level of where we were right at market it open. I respected it. I didn't know that it was about to pop off, right? My trades are never perfect. My entries are never perfect. My exits are never perfect. I am the least perfect trader that you will ever meet. But guess what? I don't need to be perfect. My entries just seem to be good and my exits just seem to be good, right? And when I saw consolidation, I, I began to ask myself that simple question. There was no progression on this trade any longer, right? And if there's no progression and I have an open trade, any open trade is a trade that's open to risk. And because of that, I decided to call it a trade, right? I reduced my position size and I left myself with my one lucky share ending my SQQQ position at $4,268 profit on the day. Now it's showing signs of a reversal. My learn plan profit team knows exactly what I'm looking for now to then wait for confirmation to add to TQs if the opportunity presents itself. But remember, if you often find yourself making impulsive trade decisions, maybe looking at the larger time frames, the five minute, the 10 minute, the 15 minute can really slow things down for you so you don't always add or buy when you shouldn't have, right? Uh, so huge shout out to our Learn Plan Profit team. They did a beautiful job locking in profits and reducing their position size at overbought levels. The last thing that I quickly want to talk about is again, long-term, I'm still bullish, right? I still think the market is very oversold. I am waiting for the market to actually indicate signs of a recovery, and then I'll add more to my position on TQQQ. Long-term, I'm still bullish, right? I, I wanna add more. I just uh, talked about it on my video yesterday of my $20,000 position in TQs, which is less than a 10% position size. I want to add more, but I know that the market is still bearish. So therefore, day by day, just like you saw, I don't mind day trading and shorting the market with SQs, but I understand my intention long-term. Doesn't mean that I, you know, if you have long-term positions that you can't make money short-term. 
right? And I want to make sure that you guys understand that. So I still see huge upside potential. I mean, if we look at it from where we are at, uh, where we're at right now to previous highs, even a more realistic previous high, right? That's 10%. So uh, three times that, that would be a 30% ROI on TQs. Again, I'm very excited to follow up. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And that's a risk that I'm willing to take. And that's why I manage my positions. As a lot of people were asking, Ricky, why'd you only buy $20,000 worth of it if you normally trade with you know two to 300K? because I'm trying to manage my position size. Things are uncertain. I want the market to recover, but just because I want it to recover doesn't mean that it will. Remember, I'm not here for to hope for something to happen. I'm here to not be afraid to take advantage of an opportunity, but in a calculated way. And that's the most important thing out of this entire video. It's that if you're going to do something, do it in a way that you could even tolerate worst case scenario, right? It's not an if the market will recover, it's a when. And when the market does, Will you be able to tolerate the time that it will take when the market recovers? The last thing that I quickly want to talk about is a series of economic reports that are set to be released tomorrow. We have existing home sales, pretty significant report. Consumer confidence report, again, pretty important report. And then we have the EIA crude inventory report. Um, I don't view that to be as important, but that's going to be one hour after the market opens. The other two reports are 30 minutes after the market opens. So if you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, we will be capturing the market's reaction to those economic reports. And again, I go live every single day right at market open. And if you're ready to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, all we literally ask you to do is to click the second link in the description, take two minutes, learn more about our Learn Plan Profit Group. And if, you're, and if you're tired of guessing and you're ready to start learning, especially in 2023, again, it's designed for complete beginners. So if you're experienced, this is not for you. If you're a complete beginner and you've ever wanted to learn more about the stock market, it's an A to Z video lesson library designed for complete beginners. You get to watch me trade live every single day. You get access to our private LPP group chat, right? Where I post updates as well with, you know, what I'm paying attention to. And you get access to my 7,000 square foot facility called TechBud HQ located in Chandler, Arizona. It's all included. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And yes, right now we are running a sell and that's that second link in the description. And if you sign up by today, you can watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow at market open and moving forward. But again, it, it, it comes down to how bad you want it. So second link in the description if you want to learn more about that. We are running our Christmas giveaway. So again, if you guys want to learn more about that Christmas giveaway, we have two micro prizes to give away. That's going to be the PS5 and the iPad. If you want to learn more about this giveaway and how to enter, click the fourth link in the description. And remember, I am using the Webull trading application. And if you want to be able to you know, use the same application that I use, all you have to do is click the fifth link in the description. And when you deposit $1, you can earn up to six free stocks. You earn six free stocks, I earn one. Again, it's a win-win. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we in the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.